Hi Leo, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Leo, this is um, a full oracle card spread over here. Uh, and then I do a full um, extended video with a full tarot card spread. Almost Sometimes I use the whole deck. <laughs> I'm going to get really deep into it. Um, that link is always below. It includes a romance reading as well. Just so you know, let's get it right into it. Leo, this is for Leo's sun, moon, and rising sign. Could also be Venus, Jupiter. Wherever Leo energy influences your chart, you can apply these energies to there. Now remember, if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. It's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. This is an energy reading. My ear's ringing. My ear's ringing. Isn't that interesting? You ever heard that thing? You ever heard that saying that when your ear rings, like to start saying the alphabet and see what letter it stops on? <laughs> Did you ever hear that? That's why I was listening so hard. Leo, what's your crowning energy? Sometimes life stings. This is disappointment. Um, this is also the energy of something targeting you, something on the something on the internet. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, with a, a, a vengeful stinger. You could be dealing with whatever, whatever it is. This is sort of, now, okay, this is sort of the gad, my gadfly card. <laughs> Stumbling all over the place. Um, six, four, 64, so that's a total of 10. This is almost like the 10 of swords, this energy. So a lot of stuff has been said. A lot of stuff has been talking. People have been talking. Something on the internet. This could be an attack over the internet. This could be negative commentary. This could just be disappointment over systems on the internet or the world wide web. But this is about, you know, um, having to protect yourself, defend yourself against an onslaught of something that is constantly bugging you or stinging at you, or trying to get at you. Um, this could also be called to action, right? As in the gadfly, Socrates' gadfly. It just keeps, it just, Socrates describes himself as something that just keeps pressing and poking and poking and gnawing, you know, and irritating, irritating the system. And that could be your mentality this week. That's why it's the crowning energy. There's a, there's an idea of um, um, uh, something that's irritating you or you intentionally irritating others because you're you're tired of the systemic bs you're something that has to do with the system or something that isn't right or irritation through the internet this is the crowning energy like i said this would also be like the 10 of swords energy for me which is uh, the coming to end the coming to an end of a cycle of painful cycle um a cycle of disappointment betrayal um, communications lack could be the coming to an end of a lack of communication too. Something is gnawing at you this week, the next seven days. Sometimes life stings, crowning your energy. So everything that essentially you could be doing for the next seven days has to do with this gnawing energy, this energy that's, that is, is, is pain, reactionary energy, something to do with pain. And ooh, look at you being defensive. This is more swords energy. This is coming in with your swords out. Basically defending yourself and letting them see that, that they want to sling stuff at you. You're going to sling stuff right back. Because you're not going to be you're not going to be um, daunted by some some negative energy that people are, th are throwing at you. But this is definitely the lion has got its armor on. It's about to go into battle. This is that sense, Leo, of you really being pissed and irritated about the way that things are going, and you you walking into a room showing your spikes and saying you think you want to aim something at me. Go ahead and try to aim something at me because this is what I'm wearing, and I'm not afraid to sh I'm not afraid to shoot this these spikes off. Now spikes are usually not spikes, but needles. This is something that that. This is something that like something is needling you, or you're ne you're needling somebody. You're being bristly this week. This could be real pissed off, real irritated, and something that something that happened over the world wide web. It could be to a YouTube channel. It could be on Instagram, whatever it is, something that's irritating you over the World Wide Web, something that's really frustrating you and bothering you and you're spikily and you're spiky and you're being really defensive about it, but you don't, you don't really mind that people know it, okay? Um, time for a beginner mind, some sort of expansion, like a widening, broadening. This is a very Aquarian energy. In fact, 
I'll attach the Aquarian um, reading right above because it was really profound and I think it plays into this. This is a sense of, um, this is a sense of intentionally firing back. This is a, this is a sense of being inspired to be bristly. So you're walking into the room prepared. This is a, this is a sense of calling people out on their BS. Um, yeah. Ooh, what is going on this week? Um, something has been building for a long time. Uh, maybe you've ignored it at first or maybe not ignored it, but you didn't address it because it wasn't a priority, but now it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger and you have to say something. Uh, let it shine. Oh yeah, you're spotlighting something. You are letting it out and speaking out and calling people out on their actions. Or somebody's trying to call you out on your actions and you don't like it. This is the energy of um, sticking by yourself, standing by yourself, um, being proud of who you are and letting people know that you're proud of who you are. But something has been needling you and picking at you the whole time. I'm like wanting to get deeper. This time to heal. No, this. Okay. All right. This is defensive energy. This is energy. This is the central card for you. Um, but what? Remember, he. Oh my God! There's so much coming out all of a sudden, Leo. You're angry. I'm getting such pissed off, rooted like just evil fucking anger. It's just like, you just want to sting somebody and get out there and like eat them alive. This is the energy of, I, I will, I will defend you. I, I venomous being venomous, right? Cause remember, this is a lot of spiking. This is a lot of stings. This is the venom. This is the teeth. This is wanting to sink your teeth into somebody and seep that venom in. But once again, this is also venom coming from the mouth, always coming from the mouth. Somebody is talking S H I T. Somebody is talking stuff. Somebody is saying stuff. Somebody is doing stuff that you are just so freaking done with right? Or somebody is trying to come at you with accusations and you are like, and you are not having it. You're not having it. So this is self-defensive energy 55. Some things are going to change. There's something that you want to change. There's something that's very irritating to you. This is also the energy of 10, 10, 10, repeatedly energies of 10 all over the place. What does that mean? It's the end. You're finished. You're done. It's over with. It's concluded. It's, it, it's, uh, you're not taking anything anymore. You're, you're done putting up with things, but I think it has to do more with alignment to something beyond you, something that's really e needling you and something that's really irritating you. Um, and I think that you see that this is more of a systemic problem. You see that it's a bigger issue. You see that, holy crap, this could affect what's out in the future. This is very grounding, loving energy. This is Taurus energy. You know, some, you could have been informed recently by somebody who is very loyal and faithful to you that all of this is going on and that you need to be prepared because there's some sort of venom being slung your way or they're going to try to. But I'm telling you, this is an instance that's been building for quite some time. And I feel like maybe you, you're the one that's been blowing the whistle, like the whistleblower this whole time. It's really interesting because there's a lot of common themes that are coming out throughout the um, horoscope this week throughout the zodiac with each of the signs. But I feel like maybe you've been trying to say things for years or ages and you've been talking about it the whole time, but nobody's been listening. So your spotlight has always been there. You've always been discussed. You've seen that there is a huge issue and now everybody else is starting to too. And it's almost like you're a little bit bristly and pissed about that because you're like, where were you when I was trying to say something, when I was trying to warn you? You're the gadfly. You're the one that's been constantly needling. You're the one that's been constantly talking. You're the one that's been constantly, let's do something about this. Let's do something about this. But everybody else was just sitting back because you had the foresight. You saw it coming. You saw what was wrong from a while, from a mile away. Act as if nothing's wrong, pretending like everything was fine. You know, it's almost like this could have been a group or a system that you were a part of, tried to blend into, tried to be some sort of, um, you know, tr at one time wanted to be a part of it or, or a group that you wanted to be a part of, a relationship that you wanted to be a part of. You tried to be, you tried to fit in. But I think that you're sick, you're sick of that, that no, you're sick of that and you're, you're shedding that skin. Um, you may just be sitting back and really being pissed off at people who are being fake. There's a lot of calling people out on their fakeness, showing that, you know, people are disguised, people are, you know, you know, just, just fakeness, 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 inauthenticity. That's what I'm saying. Somebody's being manipulative and trying to like draw that web around you. 
You see it though. The thing is, the spider stays disguised. You see somebody waiting in ambush. You see it and you're not going to let it happen. You you see through the disguise. You see through and they can't they can't be disguised around you. You see. You see. Maybe you're the one setting the trap. Maybe you're the one setting the trap. Believe in yourself. Oh, you do, you do. This is Virgo energy coming through. The seeds that you've planted, you're almost protecting. You believe in it. So it could be that it's the seeds that you're, you could be protecting your children this week. You know, because you see through, you see through that there's some something that's hidden and trying to pretend like it's not there. But there's a, there's a hidden threat that you see coming from somewhere that it's trying to pretend that it's not there, but you're calling it out. Once again, on the web, there's two here, two, um, two cards of the web. I feel like this is happening online. I really, really do. If it's not the web itself, it's definitely some sort of like expanded network. Um, make your dreams real. Oh, it's like somebody's luring people in based on their hopes and dreams. I don't know if you're the one doing this. I hope not. This would be energy that I really hope that you weren't the one creating. Luring people in on their hopes and dreams, basically lying, waiting in ambush to just eat them. Believe in yourself. You have, you have planted the seeds, planted these seeds a long time ago. Believe in yourself, nurturing yourself. What comes out this week may not, you know, come into fruition until the fall. But this is the energy of you stocking away, saving away, saving for that, that rainy day. Um, believing in the future or going into a search of circumstance with high hopes. Um, love is all around. Okay. There's a lot of people talking about you. Watch your words. And be peace. This is all your grounding energy. Believe in yourself. Love is all around. This is Gemini energy. This is usually the energy of people talking BS. People talking at you. People flying over you. Trying to poop on you. People being judgmental. People like, like saying, oh, oh, I love you so much. I love you so much. But really it's just to like, like, like spy on you or get at you or, um, hold on. It's, yeah. Grounding, I, because this is grounding energy, there's an implication that this is you. I feel like you're trying very, very hard. You're still kind of struggling with being too harsh or saying things too upfront. But at the same time, it's almost like criticism. That's what I'm getting, criticism. There's been a lot of criticism. There's been a lot of praise by some people, but there's also been a lot of criticism. Praise and criticism. Praise and criticism. You are in the middle of a crazy, crazy bunch. That's what you're in. You're plopped in the center of sort of this, almost to say, a menopausal world of hot and cold. <sighs> Trying to find the balance between the two extremes. Trying to plant the seeds in a very toxic forest. Thinking, in other words, it's almost like you believe there could be better. You believe in the goodness of something. And you're trying to cure and purge all the nastiness or all the sickness. Instead of play into it. And maybe for a while you did play into it. That's not a judgment call. That's just a set, it's saying. Maybe for a while you did play into the situation. You try, you know, you maybe could be disappointed yourself because for a while you were part of the problem. You were part of the issue. And now you see really just how corrupt it all is. And you're just not having it anymore. Something happened recently so that you basically woke up to a bunch of corruption. Like you, like I said, you, you could have been part of, you could have been part of the problem and now you're trying to be part of the solution and I think what happened is I'm just gonna say this that the system turned on you and now you finally see it for what it is after it turned on you or like I said you've been trying to call this out for a long long time been trying to compromise trying to give people the benefit of the doubt but definitely plan seeds to reconstruct and build and grow in a healthy way There's some serious Gemini energy 
and Libra energy, serious communications. This all has to do with communications. Fundamentally, it's all about people talking. A lot of people chattering and trying to say uh, so many things at once. You got the haters, you got the lovers, and then you got the people who are trying to be the in-betweens. Hold on, I'm going to review the, I'm going to turn the camera around so I can review the spread with you. Hold on. All right, I'm going to quickly go over actually the cards because I want to get over to the extended because this is, there's some juiciness here and I really want to uncover what's going on and actually what's going to happen or come out of it. I do believe right now, at least for the next seven days, you're going to try to some, somehow make a compromise. You still want to be the voice of reason here. Um, but does that solve everything? It's almost like you want to be the voice of reason. You want to be the, the one who heals. You want to be the way forward. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's going to happen because there seems to be a lot of, you know, hidden, hidden atrocities and something, something going on that is, it's, it's still bothering you. It's just, there's some, there's like a, there's like a bee in the bonnet. There's something bothering you and it's stinging and it's venomous and it's, it's, it's ripping in and it's sometimes lying in ambush, lying in wait, unless you're intentionally setting a trap for somebody. Damn, Leo. All right, um, we're going to go over to the extended full um, romance spread for the next seven days. I really want to pinpoint this energy of where it's coming from and what's going to be done about it. So I will see you over there. Bye, guys.